Hey everyone, it's Tina Marie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a perm rod tutorial. So I was going to do the teal perm rods, but I just don't have enough for my full head. So I'm going to put that on the back burner for now. And I'm actually going to be using a few different perm rods because I want to have like my heart shape effect that I used to have. So I'm going to be doing bigger perm rods in the front and smaller ones in the back. I think I'm going to use these as well. So the purple, the orange, and the grays. So I'm going to start with the back. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do two rows in the back with gray perm rods. And then the next set is going to be purple. And then this bulk right here, like right here at the top is gonna be orange. Okay, so these are the products that I'm going to be using. I already did the back, so I'm just gonna show you the middle part. So I'm just making sure that my ends are nice and smooth. And then I'm just gonna wrap it around. We'll twirl it, swirl it, however you wanna say it and then taking that latch and closing it. And I always make sure that when I close it, that latch is on top of the hair, not under the roller. If that makes sense, see how I bring it over on top? Because if it's the other way, I know with me, my roller unravels. Every day they play me for me radio. Ah, then they feel me. Anytime they see me on the video. Ah, they want to see. When me chilling for me yard, I'm sitting on the low key. Ah, she cool. Man a bad man, they can try to see. Well, my brand is okay. Anytime they see me, they don't want to see me. They just want to see me. Ucha. Okay, so this one just wants to do what it wants to do so i'm gonna sit under the dryer and hopefully it will be dry once i'm done i'll let y'all know how long i sat under the dryer so orange at the top purple in the middle and gray at the very bottom so fingers crossed i hope that it comes out right Okay, so I sat under the dryer for 30 minutes and then I just let it air dry for about an hour. I was cooking, so I had to finish cooking and I let it air dry for an hour and then I took it out and these are the results. So I'm just coating my hands with some oil so that my hair won't be really frizzy when I take the rollers out. And when I do take the rollers out, I just spiral it and the opposite direction so that it's easy to take out and so far i am loving how my curls are turning out they're not wet at all so that's really one good benefit about doing your hair on dry hair is that it doesn't take long for the style to dry and as y'all know with perm rods your hair being absolutely dry is key to having a really good perm rod set so i coated my hands with a little bit more oil and i'm just separating the curls about two to three times and that's including with the ones in the back you can separate however many times that you want i did want a fuller effect so i separated more Ah. 
I think perm rods are my absolute favorite style to do. I just hate putting them in. It just takes me forever. But do y'all see these curls though? Look how defined they are. They're so bouncy and light and I just love how this is looking so far. And uh, me get this song for them. Let go. Ah. Original bad man. Eh, oh, ah. Spotty baby. Eh, ah. It's fake hills. Standard. So I'm all done taking these perm rods out and I'm just going to use my handy dandy pick to give it a little bit more volume and just make sure that you do the roots. I say this in all my videos, just make sure that you do the roots. It's so easy to have the pick just slip through and ruin the curl. So if you just didn't want to wear your hair down like this, I am going to show you guys four super easy, easy, easy hairstyles that you can do just to give it a little pizzazz. So I'm just putting this side up and I'm just going to use some bobby pins to secure it. And that is it. I think this style is so cute and it just gives it a little bit of a pop rather than just having your hair down. This next hairstyle is literally super duper easy. All I do is just take a little bit of hair from the front and I'm using a rubber band and putting that in a ponytail and bam. That is literally it. It's so easy and it just seems so simple, but it does give your hair a little bit of a pop because it's just not plain. So this is another style I like to do. And go ahead and check out my playlist for natural hair tutorials if you haven't already. I show you how to do twist styles, bantu knots, other perm rod sets. It just has a lot of different things. So make sure you go check that out. So this next hairstyle, y'all should already know. If y'all know me, which y'all do, y'all already know what this hairstyle is. Literally my favorite hairstyle to do ever in life. And it's just the simple puff. Usually my puffs be really, really huge. But with this, I make it a little bit smaller, a little bit more defined. So one thing that I will say is that whenever I do my hair on dry hair, my hair tends to get a little bit frizzier, which is fine with me. I embrace the frizz, but just to let y'all know. So that was the last hairstyle. It was having my hair down, but it was just out of my face. Slow down. Them girls, no one 
So now I'm putting my hair back to how it originally was before I started doing the styles and that is it. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you all on the next video.